Hello everyone and welcome back to Spectacle Island. This is the multiplayer co-op with Nordic Farming and we've reached episode number 20. What a milestone. I'm here in the garage today as yep we have our soybean harvest to do. Been looking forward to this and waiting uh, for it to come along. We have field number three and our mega field uh, comprised of field 15, 16 and 17 ready to harvest and they've both got soybean in them so that is the job for today but I'm in the garage because yeah I needed to open it up as we want to change the hopper on the harvester so I'm going to just quickly run the harvester into there so we can configure it to have not a bigger but a foldable hopper and um, Nordic is Starting off the day by running to the shop, we're going to sell the quad stacker, which uh, is um, a attachment that goes on the back of our baler. And the reason for that is we're going to have so many bales off the back of this uh, soybean harvest. We're going to have so many bales off the back of this soybean harvest that uh, we're going to want to auto stack the bales so yeah we don't need the quad stacker anymore next time we will be getting a auto stacker so Nordic is just off to the container ship the dealership to sell the quad stacker and that should just give us enough money to afford the upgrade of the hopper on top of the harvester Right, and there we go. The quad stacker has been sold, so we've now got enough money to get the harvester. Oh, I'm outside of the garage. The harvester hopper changed. So let's take a look at which one. So this is the one, and it turns out that it's only a thousand pounds more expensive. So uh, yeah, that's all good. I'm not sure if it's taken anything off. Sometimes it. Uh, Changes your configuration if you've um, uh, customised it, but it all looks to be good. So let's go ahead and customise. There we go. So you'll notice that we've now got a foldable hopper, which is quite nice. It looks a bit cleaner. But uh, yeah, let's get the header attached. And head over to our first field, field number three. So yeah, that's the field we're going to tackle first, field number three, which is on this island. And then after we've harvested all of that, Nordic is going to be uh, baling and carting as we go. But yeah, we'll move over to the mega field after that, where Nordic and I are going to go halves on harvesting. Right, so this field is very interesting. I think I'm going to have to approach it from the other end, as uh, I don't want to be driving in on the crop. So let's see if we can access here, or at least turn around and go the other way. Right, so this looks to be the place to start. Driving on the beach with a harvester. I wonder if that's ever happened in real life. Where your field is so close to the water, you can drive it on the beach. There we go. And then time to get our new hopper unfolded. Very nice. And uh, which way to go? Left or right? Hmm. Let's go left. I'll start off by doing a few headlands. And uh, yeah, then we'll start doing the rows. But Nordic's going to be uh, following me. He'll probably give me a bit of space to start with before he starts uh, collecting up the straw. Here he is. Give him a little toot. Yes, I've been looking forward to this soybean harvest. There's going to be lots of soybean straw as well. 
lots of money from the soybean crop. We're going to collect it all up in the harbour silo and do one big boat trip at the end to sell it all at the boat unloading station. And then we'll be bailing up the soybean straw this time and next time we will get an auto stacker. We might even get two if we've got enough money. So we can stack the bales nice and quickly and uh, drop them over at the barn for sale. Nordic uh, following tight on our heels here. Now, as he is baling while we harvest, we will have to watch out for the bales getting dropped. They might get in our way a little bit, so we might have some to negotiate around. But that's alright. Cool. So, I'm going to crack on getting this uh, first field done. It's quite a big field, but pales in comparison to our mega field over on the other island. Yeah, I look forward to that harvest. Nordic and I are going to crack on with this job, and then we will see you when we're finished. And here we are, finishing up the last strip of field number three. Nordic's just come to uh, take the supply. Just got up to 90. I reckon we probably could have finished this strip and the field. And uh, had a percent or two spare space. But better to be safe than sorry. So uh, get all this soybean unloaded. Nordic's done a great job keeping up and doing the baling. Lots of bales dotted around, which we'll have to come and collect next time. Yeah, that was really fun, doing that harvest. The uh, John Deere makes light work of all of it. It's got such a wide range on this uh, header. It's fantastic. So, let's uh, get this unfolded. And lowered and dropped off. Cool, we can uh, hold up the harvester as well. Now the hopper is the same capacity as the previous one but we think that the holdability of it just looks so much better. So there we are. 
Nordic is going to finish up that strip over there and I am going to start making my way over to the mega field. Uh, Nordic will probably drop the uh, soybean that's in the yams and the Demler trailer at the arbor silo, ready for the boat. So let's get the uh, beacons on and get over to the mega field. Yeah, we've got nearly a full Demler trailer's worth of soybean there, so 45,000? I think the Demler trailer takes 46,000, and that's not quite full, so yeah. I'm going to bet around 44, 45,000. Looks like Nordic's following us. So we are journeying together down the meandering lanes of Spectacle Island to the mega field and uh, yeah, Nordic and I are going to split the task half and half 50-50 he harvested the oats last time so that's why I uh, started off in field number three god these bridges are sketchy especially on a multiplayer server I never know when it's going to offer me a nice bit of lag and I'll end up just carrying on and falling over the edge. It really is fun. The risk of impending doom falling off the cliff. Oh, so let's get over to the mega field and make a start. Right, here we are. I'm going to have to leave the header somewhere nice and easy. Probably leave it there. The beacon switched off as we are here. Drive around the bush. And I think Nordic's just parked the baler there so he can nip back and go get the yams with the Demlar. Hold up the header. And yeah, I think I'm going to do two headlands and uh, then let Nordic do the rest. Uh, two, maybe three. We'll, uh, we'll see how we get on. But uh, yeah, this is an oddly shaped field. Uh, a bit of a dog leg down here. In fact, uh, this could be the dog's foot. Or it could look entirely like something else. Um, let you use your imagination on that one. But yes, let's get fired up. Just need to unfold. How could I forget to show off our shiny new foldable hopper? Started up and we went left last time. So let's go right this time. Cut in here. Swoop round. And make a start on our mega field. I think that's the main point around farming simulating. You just have to farm, plant, seed, harvest, buy more stuff, expand, rinse and repeat. And Nordic and I are up to 20 episodes. And it's a nice milestone that on the 20th we are harvesting our biggest field. Quite an achievement. So, yeah, that's 20 weeks of Spectacle Island for myself and Nordic. Every week on a Thursday evening is when we play. And we've done that consistently for 20 weeks. It's a commitment. I think there was maybe only one week where one of us was busy and we had to do it on a Saturday. 
if I recall, I think I was on holiday. So we actually had to film one episode on the Thursday evening and then another one on the Saturday of the same week. So it was then ready whilst I was going to be away. Such is the nature of uh, planning recording and editing and uploading to YouTube comes with its own fair share of logistics. But yeah, Nordic and I really enjoy playing the multiplayer and um, Spectacle Island has been a great map. We will be carrying it on but at some point we will be looking to port over to FS22 when the option arises. We've had a few discussions and ideas on what to do and yeah I'm not going to share any ideas we'll leave that to when we kick off but if you have any ideas please feel free to leave any comments let us know your thoughts how you'd want this series to carry on or change in FS22 and yeah once again another plug for FS22 Nordic has started a great series on Hoyt Valerum and I have started my series on Elm Creek at Mossy Pine Ranch. So if you haven't given that a look yet, please do go check out both. Ah, the boat whizzing past. We're going to be transporting in a much larger boat that is over there across the water is the grain boat where we'll be taking the soybean and uh, I didn't mention but uh, we can see some rain on the forecast so either means that we're gonna have to pause and wait for it to pass if it does start or just crack on send it and hopefully beat it I hope it's the latter. It's always sunny here in Spectacle Island. Well, mostly is. So I'm hoping that luck's going to be on our side, but we shall see. So I'm going to crack on. Nordic's going to be here shortly to start doing some bailing. And I think I can see the Demler trailer in the distance there. So we should be ready to unload. Hopefully we make it a headland before needing to unload. So we shall press on and see you soon. Right, so I've done two headlands and I'm going to switch over with Nordic. He's going to hop in there. I'm going to have to go straight into the Demler truck as uh, 
yeah it's ready to empty pretty much so let's get in there and uh, go help Nordic out by emptying the load so yeah two headlands still quite a uh, large amount of the field left but uh, yeah the width of the harvester does mean that even two headlands you know there's quite a lot of harvested I think Nordic has uh, unloaded twice I think it's twice so yeah this will be the third unload of uh, the field and uh, I don't know what Nordic's going to do he might switch to rows he might keep doing some some laps of the headland we shall see I'm going to have to be pretty alert to when uh, he's filling up. Luckily I will be quite close to him as I'll be following with the bailer. Here we've got 70. Hmm, we're going to end up about 88%. All right, okay, I think we're probably worth probably worth doing a trip back to the farm because otherwise we're not going to we're not going to unload him but yeah I might as well just let him keep going he's going to go straight so yeah end of this row we'll uh, we shall go and take this to the harbour silo and uh, I think Nordic's going to carry on doing rows. He likes to make the rows nice and neat. Now, where's the exit? I think it's over here. Field is so big, I lost the exit. Yeah, he's going to carry on. I think he's just going around that way. He's going to split the field into a nice little pattern. Nordic's got a good eye for following the uh, the line and splitting things up accordingly. Yeah, he's going to carry on with that. I'm going to do a quick dash to the farm, drop this at the harbour silo, return, and then hop in the baler. Well, not hop in the baler, but hop in the tractor to pull the baler um, so we can collect up the soybean straw. When we get back, uh, it might be that Nordic's uh, already full again. So might have to empty him but we shall progress and hopefully keep that rain at bay doesn't look cloudy yet so I think we're in luck and I'm in luck because I didn't go over the edge of the bridge yep we'll see you when we've made some good progress So, you might have noticed that it has started raining. Nordic has had to stop harvesting. But I am frantically trying to finish collecting up these uh, soybean straw swaths before they get too wet. And uh, yeah, we'll get them get them baled up as much as possible. But uh, yeah, I think Nordic and I are probably going to have to go back to the farm and just wait out the rain and uh, wait for it to, to dry up. Uh, it's not a very good situation. It would have been nice to have uh, been able to harvest this field entirely, but 
based on the uh, time of the day, we might have to uh, bunker down till tomorrow. Can't see sun on the forecast, so yeah, I think it's a good assumption that it's going to be raining for quite some time. So yeah, I think uh, what we'll do is we'll head back to the farm, and we'll leave the equipment here, and uh, yeah, come back when it's all gone and dried up. Just managed to hitch a lift with uh, Nordic before uh, he drove off. So yeah, we're back to the farm and uh, bunkering down whilst uh, this rainstorm passes. Right, Nordic and I are back at home and we're going to have to ride out this rainstorm. Let's put the kettle on and a cup of tea. <sighs> ah, so there we are. We have waited and we have been rewarded with sunshine again. So yeah, Nordic and I can... Uh, resume our harvesting and uh, yeah we had to wait to a, a similar time the next day which was fun but yeah we'll uh, let Nordic hop in there or maybe I'll hop in and he can be passenger and here he is yep we had to uh, move the egg pallets as we're now full but let's get back to the field so we can finish off where we were and get that harvest done what do you mean you're a nervous passenger when I'm driving, Nordic? What are you trying to say? My driving is perfectly fine. I've already gone over the cliff once. Right, here you are, mate. I'll drop you here and uh, I'll crack on with the bailing. Okay. Man, a few words, that Nordic. But he certainly is a good farmer. So yeah, the uh, raw has all uh, dried out nicely. Hopefully our bales will dry out a bit as well. And uh, the crop's now dry enough for us to carry on the harvesting. So we resume once more. See you when we're done.
and here we are finishing up the final strip of the mega field it has been a mega harvest and a mega baling session um, I can't wait to see how much money we're going to get from all this soybean straw it is going to be huge profits so yeah Nordic is finished going to go dump the last remnants of soybean into the Demler trailer we can stop lift it up and dump these last two bales out now there are a few scraps of straw but I think we've got enough to be honest um, so that is us done I'm uh, probably going to take the truck first and uh, come back for the tractor just so we can get the soybean nicely stowed away in our harbour silo so Nordic's going to probably uh, take the harvester back to the farm and um, yeah based on the time and how long that job has taken I think we're going to have to save the boat trip to the sell point till next time but that's okay because we can take that boat trip to sell the soybean first and foremost next session and then that's going to give us the money to buy the bale stackers the auto stackers that we want to get we're probably going to get two so Nordic and I can both uh, run at the same time we've of course got the soybean straw in field three to to collect as well and we'll have to ferry all of it over to the barn which is on this island so yeah fair drive from field uh, number three but we were doing uh, 10,000 litre bales uh, at the end there when I started bailing up that field it just uh, was going to be too much having 8,000 litre bales so we needed to really crank it up to the full 10,000 litres but that's fine that's all good Right, so let's get the soybean in the harbour silo and then nip back to get the Massey and the baler. Right, both tractor and baler probably need a service as uh, they've been working pretty hard today. Also give them a wash. Okay, so Nordic has done a sweep around the animals as they were a bit messy. But uh, yeah, just have a quick look at how much we've got in the silo so the silo seems to have maxed out we've got 200,000 litres I think that's only showing one silo so we'll be able to show next time just how much soybean we harvested yeah that is it for today we've had a very big session we harvested field number three and our mega field over here so yeah that has been a very very busy session a long one too we bailed up the soybean straw as well, which we're going to sell next time. And then we'll be doing our boat voyage to the unloading station next time. But a huge thanks for watching. Um, big thank you for any views, likes and subscribes. If you've got any tips, tricks or things you'd like us to do, then feel free to leave us a comment. And please check out Nordic's channel for his perspective of today's video. Lastly, I'd just like to do a shout out to Robert C773, who won my FS22 for PC giveaway uh, earlier this week. So yeah, well done, Robert. He's been in touch with me and has said that he's downloaded it, installed it, and it's up and running and he's enjoying it so far. So yeah, enjoy FS22, Robert, and thank you to everyone who entered my giveaway. I will be doing some more giveaways and slightly differently next time and I hope to see you all next time. Cheers for watching, catch you later, bye bye.